guys and welcome to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. Today we're going to do some real stupid fun crap, but we're going to get little bad girl's engine running, but it's going into Susie. Uh, it's going to go into Susie, we're going to put her all the way back together, have her track ready and winterize her and focus on little bad girl this winter. Uh, next spring we'll pop into Susie again when the fun spike. We got a bonus check, we got to remember that. That'll be coming in March. So March will be the break in for Susie. But this way, opening season, we can hit the track with Susie and have some fun. Maybe hit it a couple more times this year. All right, guys, since we lost all the footage because the phone died, uh, we're just going to go through what we've done. I pulled off the crushed oil filter that was on this thing, went in and threw a new filter on, hooked the oil cooler up. I'll get that propped up. It really don't matter. It's just there to close the loop. I'm not going to run it long enough to get it that hot. Uh, we've got the wiring harness laying over it just for some simple connections. I needed the feeds for the coil. Hopefully I'm not 180 off. We'll know when we go to start it. I've got the negative battery cable and the missing a cap ground wire. Positive battery cable, storage solenoid and distribution point fuse block, which is still missing the nitrous control fuse. And I've got open wires here. These are for the nitrous. Uh, Generator lead, alternator, whatever you want to call it. Ignition pickup lead, oil pressure switch. That is, oh, and the starter positive. So that's everything we need. Uh, we threw the RS-38s on there. I'm kind of glad I lost the footage because that was an hour of me getting very, very mad. Hopefully that was a uh, hillbilly enough for everybody. That's all I was looking to do was to get it running. Uh, the carb drive sink, obviously, because, well, the engine's got a different vacuum than the other one. They're all off balance. So I will probably go ahead and pull these zoomies off, strip the motor down, and get it ready to go into Susie. We're going to throw her together and run her. Yee yee. Adjusting the valves. Painting it fixing the two bolt holes that are screwed up on the exhaust and this will be ready to go into Suzy Q's chassis. So the next video will probably be prepping Suzy Q back into a roller. We're going to pull the Jixer project apart from all the parts that are from Suzy and get Suzy back to a running, riding nitrous bike stock motor. So with the 75 shot it'll be like 160 horsepower maybe, maybe 170, I don't know. I don't know what just RS flat slides and the Sidewinder are going to do for it power wise uh oh and a cdi off a of jixer but we'll see uh at best maybe i can get 200 horsepower out of it which ought to be fine stock bottom ends stock pistons stock rods stock everything in that thing i'll be happy with 200 horsepower to play on go out spray some nitrous and maybe get some mid sixes out of it what it runs on motor i'll probably run on nitrous now so Yep, we'll throw the upgraded springs in here, send it. 
Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. It's not much, but eh, it's entertaining. Uh, figured I'd do something stupid. Plus, I needed to know that engine ran before I took the time to put it all the way into a chassis. Uh, it still has some issues, but the stuck valve broke free. I need to set the valves, run it a little more once it's in the chassis, change the oil, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Yee. Oh, almost forgot. My parts came from Nitrous Express. Have a beautiful evening, guys.